Hey YouTube, I'm back with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing the newly released AMD Ryzen 9 9950X. So this is currently the, the latest flagship from AMD. Okay, so after unboxing everything, these are the things that are in the box. So obviously you get the CPU, you get a little red team brochure thing. You get a certificate of authenticity, which has the CPU mounting instructions. So how to install the CPU into the motherboard and then how to mount a stock cooler so they show both the Wraith Stealth and the Wraith Prism. Now this CPU has a TDP of 170 watts so you typically would not use this with a stock cooler. You would use this with either a high-end air cooler like a Noctua NHD15, that's what I'm going to be using, or you could use a 360 AIO, 420 AIO. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be comparing it to the Previous generation Zen 4 flagship, the 7950X, as well as the 7950X 3D. And then we'll also compare it to an Intel 13900K, which is a Raptor Lake CPU in the same thread count, so the 32 thread. So the last thing that I noticed, a couple things here. So the sticker is different now. So that this is the first time the desktop platform has moved away from the Enzo symbol, that, that classic Ryzen Circle symbol. So this is actually the new sticker that's featured on the new Ryzen AI based laptops so that's interesting that the zen 5 architecture has now firmly moved them into a different branding style and then the other the last thing i'll say is the pcb on this is actually a blue color compared to the older cpus that have a greenish color i have here a 7800 x3d if the camera will focus there we go so I wanted to just kind of show the difference in color there. So you guys can see that the 7800, the 7000 series have this greenish PCB, whereas the new Zen 5 CPUs, the Ryzen 9000, have a bluish color. So that's the other thing that I noticed that was different. The placement of the logo is also a little bit different. The AMD font size is larger and the Ryzen font size is smaller versus the way it was on Zen 4. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I um, hope you guys found this video useful and let me know in the comments if you're planning on upgrading to a new Zen 5 based build if you're on an older platform like a DDR4 platform for example so you're on AM4 or something even older like an older Intel CPU that might even be on DDR3 memory so curious to hear your thoughts on the newly available CPUs and I will see you guys in the next one thanks